program uh, thing, but I'm very excited to do that this today. Uh, so we'll release it into the Telegram channels. Uh, we got the thumbs up from everyone. So congratulations. Uh, other intentions, of course, just to go through the board and see what we can do, see where what we want to focus on for the public release and uh, hear the updates on the front end and back end as usual. And I'll pass it to Marco. Thanks a lot. Uh, hi, oh, everybody. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm also distracted because I do have to leave uh, at uh, about middle of the hour. I can be like three or four minutes late, but I have to leave in about 30 minutes. So I'll pass the uh, thing to Marco when I leave. And other than that, no distractions. Yeah. Sorry, Marco. Great. Yeah, no worries. Uh, yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. Intentions. Uh, just hearing the updates, see if there's anything uh, needed from my end and taking over the call um, after Griff has to leave. Uh, distractions. Uh, full house over here. People talking on the phone. I can't do anything about it. So. <laughs> um, and I pass it on to Vitor. Hey guys, uh, well, intentions basically do a quick recap on everything we did last week and about the coming new release, uh, pin out a few of the things that are important and uh, heads up for the, the public release and show some thoughts about it. And I don't have any distractions actually. Uh, I will pass it to Fabio. So, hey everyone, um, intentions basically getting sync about the last changes on community release and also getting update for the public release. Uh, go through the, the board, maybe assign some issues for me and Merlin. Oh, he's not here, but okay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's it. Um, no distraction, distractions for today. I will pass to Ms. Lauren here. Hi. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm happy to be here. Um, and my intention for the call is just to sync up with everybody and um, see if there's anything that we can help with or contributing to the public release. And um, the fact is that I'm just combing through my hair right now with a life coach that's happening in the community, but so I'm almost done and then I'll be for my present. Um, I'm going to pass it um, to Sean. Thanks, Lauren. Uh, hey, everyone. Intentions for today, um, I've been working with Griff and Jake on moving what we've been doing in the labs, the parameters dashboard. It's in its own repo now, and we're going to be using token log to vote on hatch parameters. So I just want to kind of guide everyone's attention towards that, and uh, it's going to need some help uh, moving towards final stages. So anyone who's been working on the CAD CAD modeling, uh, Vitor, I know you've got your hands really dirty in this and you've got some good experience now. So um, I posted, there's like six or seven issues on that repo. Uh, some of them are really nice and small and would be a good way to uh, get familiar with that code base. So yeah, I just wanna uh, put that into people's awareness. And on the f this lab on Friday, I'm going to be going through those issues and doing this kind of handoff because it's nice that that uh, dashboard has been built out in the labs, but I'm going to kind of hand it off to the community so it can be maintained and continue to be improved. Uh, so that's the intention I have and getting caught up with what you guys have got going on. Um, distractions. I started a new token engineering job recently, so that's uh, so I've got to like reshape my time and, and everything. That's with Boson Protocol and it's super exciting. It's decentralized commerce. Um, so like decentralized Amazon, which is super cool. And uh, yeah, um, happy to be here and excited to uh, see what everyone's got going on. And I might've been the last one. Uh, Marco, did you go? Yeah. Oh, did Griff go? Yeah, I think sorry, everybody's had, already. Yeah, awesome. sorry, I had, had trouble finding the mute button. <laughs> but uh, cool, well, let's start with uh, just like some quick updates on the front end uh, and then updates on the back end and then we'll start going through the board. Uh, but it's always nice to review the work that has been done. So uh, Fabio, do you, uh, you want to start with updates on the front end? Yeah, of course. Um... Me and Merlin, uh, we ha have been working on 
mobile improvements mostly. And I can share my screen. So oh, let me see. This morning, uh, I update the the website. So I merged the, the front end to master. So you can now see the, the last changes that we made. So let me see. We have here a button that Marco asked, I think, to watch the intro again. So it's here. Um, I made a couple of changes in the order of the levels because uh, before, uh, when we clicked on Hatcher's page, we had to see a lot of uh, sliders, but makes much more sense to just like go back to Hatcher's page and uh, answer again the, the question, right? So I changed the, the order of the levels. Uh, I changed the, let me see, this, okay. Oh, we have a lot of uh, improvements on mobile, so I won't remember uh, all of them, but uh, it's working better. So, so we don't have uh, like, let me see, the, the chart is working better. We don't have more uh, overflow on X, uh, and also, let me see, exit tribal. Oh, it's weird. That's weird. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> uh, but, oh, I, I definitely have to to know what is going on, but it's working no worries, no better worries. on mobile. <laughs> nice. Okay, let me see. Um, here, okay, everything is okay. Oh, I don't want to simulate, but let me open the GitHub. Now I'm working on the public release stuff. So I'm, I assigned myself to some issues here that are, that have the, the milestone of the public release. And Merlin has also assigned yourself, uh, himself to, other issues. Um, oh, also I have a, a pull request here, the open pull request, and it's working in progress. So I'm working on some, some issues of the public release here. Oh, and I remember one thing, uh, Griff, uh, you created uh, two issues uh, about the front end, but in the other web repo. So we have to transfer the, the issues. Uh, I fixed it, one of them here, but it's on the common simulator repo, I think. Vitor told me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. But Thanks for that I think that. that's it. Nice. Wow, great work. Yeah. And uh, do, you, do you think you'll be able to fix that little bug on the exit tribute that we just found uh, today before the, um, before I, uh, pump it on Telegram. Mm, which one? Uh, when you were just showing the demo, the exit tribute, uh, like, was like. Oh yeah, yeah. It, like, it was working before. Maybe uh, we merged something that shouldn't be merged. But I will take a look at this right now. Okay. Okay. Cool. If there's an emergency fix just before, I think I'm gonna try to post it on Telegram. Basically like in maybe six or seven hours, I have calls all day and then I'll uh, no, try to be focused. I, I will take a look at right now, exactly now. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. Uh, well, cool, then let's let's go to Vitor and Santi about the updates on the back end. Okay, uh, I can share my screen for a second. So basically, we had a, an issue that token price, like at the beginning of the simulation, token price were not going up as you expected. Like at the beginning of the hatchery, you would expect that more people get into the commons. But since we had that limitation, only at the maximum person getting in at the beginning, 
we had like almost every everyone in the commons were like hatchers and no participants. So what I made was like doing kind of a mid ground, like it's not implemented a full speculation policy because this will like add a new layer of complexity. So I just like add a, a pressure for like from it, it's it's randomly generated, but like between twenty and eighty percent of the uh, the time to the vest the eighty percent vesting get locked. We like we can have a speculation day randomly between that, so we have a time span where we get many more people getting in, and we do not need to add the pressure for buying and selling because uh, after this stop, uh, the policy that is already working there that that when people have many tokens and they want to sell, like it, it works, and we do not need to add much more complexity was like mainly changing the number of people getting in. Like we can edit, improve it later. Like we can add more specific things, but since like we're doing a lot of hypotheses, I, I just prefer to not, in, not add much more complexity, keep it like simpler, do not increase like much the, do not increase much the runtime. Okay, this is one point. So like in this case that goes down, but since at the beginning we have more people in here, like things get a little bit more stable. We have more cases where like our token price is higher at the, at the end than at the beginning and stuff. So it's kind of helps solving the other problem that have many more hatchers than other people. Uh, this is a good point. And for this, this is one. I don't, I don't know if someone have any comments on that. Okay. Uh, second point was that we have a policy that uh, basically calculates the conviction for every proposal. And it wasn't like, uh, it wasn't filtering only the candidate proposals that did not get found. So it was pretty simple, just like filtering that and like changing nothing on the, on the results. But now we can like access all the amount of conviction that every proposal got. Because then at, before, uh, even if a proposal got found that completed or failed, the, their convictions were like getting calculated. So this uh, raises the problem of scalability. So like the time got increasing even if the average was like fixed. So if you wanna like increase to five years later, it helps. Um, so we got improvement of like 15% of the runtime I tested locally and like uh, testing on the server got like close to that too. So like in the worst case scenario, we were, we were getting like basically two minutes. Exactly, and now we're having like one minute and 40, one minute and 35, so it's a little bit uh, shorter. I was, uh, I passed through all the simulation to look at like other uh, optimization stuff like that, but there is no, 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 no other ones that there are like no brainers like that. So there are two other ones that we can improve, but then we kind of have a trade off. So I expect to do a call with Santi this week so we can like think on how to do this and then implement. Like again, I think the hardest part is, is like to think about it and model it. And, like, and then like implementing it is the simpler part. Uh, okay, this is another one. And the other is the data that I made like this uh, shit where like there are all the, the data that we have. The green one is the one that is already in the front end. The yellow is like, is being sent by the API It's just like, Front end job and the red is like front end and back end job. And I saw that Griff made this kind of this voting in here. And yeah, guys, I don't know like if we should like think on this for the public release, if we should like vote. What do you think, Griff? I definitely want to see Marco's opinion. Uh, and uh, and Santi and and I, I guess your opinion is basically the green and yellow, right, Vitor? Like, yeah, yeah. So so I want to. I definitely want uh, Marco and Santi to vote at the very least. And of course, if other people have strong opinions, it's always good to hear them out. But in the end, I would delegate decision power to Marco, and just have it be have him okay. be informed by Santi and me. Yeah. Uh, I just briefly uh, take, took a look at, the, at the, the data sheet that you provided. A lot of information is there. I would love to somehow uh, also get feedback from you guys uh, who are maybe more familiar with that data as well. And since we have a lot of that, uh, what makes the most sense to display as a summary 
uh, to the user when they get the results. Uh, if we can somehow group that data or just pick some 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 information out of this sheet that is maybe not uh, you know represented well in the chart or in the graphs, to just make a small note on that line or whatever, um, that will be helpful for me. Where you know to mark page uh, but definitely since there's a lot of data uh, I'm not sure we need all of that just somehow either to group them or summarize them like in, or, or just pick maybe four to six you know parameters or you know things that are, are most relevant to our you know to the user at the results page before they deep dive into the graphs okay Nori can do that Nori uh Okay, so and just really more. quick, I, I want to say uh, welcome to Magenta and Bloom Network. Or wait, or is it Danny? I'm not sure if it's Danny or Magenta from Bloom Network, but uh, welcome. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to interrupt, and we can get you up to what's. Yeah, uh, my, it's Danny. me. Yeah, okay, my cool. Zoom. I forgot I had Zoom logged in as Bloom, but uh, no yeah, I'm in a. I had to jump to a coffee shop today because uh, we had a power outage. So I'm here. Oh, no. I'm just listening. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, I would stop for a second. It might be magenta and we'd have to give some kind of background. But you're good. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine, Danny. Okay, sorry, Victor. Yeah. Go for it. No, no, that's fine. Uh, just one other point. I'm working on a really simple modified version where you can, like, have a time log of, like, how, how, many, how much time did we... Does it take to run every every policy throughout time so we can like improve scalability later? But that's just one, one, one other thing. And I think I will pass to Sandy. I have another update, but it's on the next work that's pretty public release. So I will pass to him. Santi, are you, uh, do you have any updates on the back end that you wanted to share? Yeah, uh, hi everyone. Uh, well, just uh, last week I work on, I finished the first or the initial version of this uh, dashboard to analyze the, 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 the data that we got from the simulations. Um, I just uh, uh, pushed the notebook on the repo now and the, so everyone can uh, play around with it. And then I also or, uh, implemented or integrated the init uh, an initial version of the common score. So right now, the this when you run the simulation on through the front end, you will get like, uh, uh, well, it's like an initial version of the of the score that you get for running a uh, uh, a commons with your parameters. So I probably I th I think I will need to work on on how to improve or add or also we need to add more penalties to the scores. Uh, I probably will be working on with Victor and Grief on that. And I also enabled um, to the backend to store all the data that is being generated by the people that, who runs the simulation. So now we will have more data to analyze uh, in the future if we if we want it. So. Yeah, uh, and right now data is all, always is stored on on the on the file uh, on files instead of just on memory. So that's a good thing to to have. Yeah, and uh, well, and um, and finally, I also have been analyzing the code to see who, uh, which parts we can improve in regarding the, um, the the run of, to in order to optimize the runtime of the simulation. So, for example, I found that uh, there are some um, there's a couple processes that uh, creates these influence edges on particip between participants. So that's something that r right now we are not using, and is just consuming a lot of time. So that's something that we, maybe we can disable at the, right now, and uh, yeah, and maybe enable it in the in the in the future when we update the, the model with new features, right? Yeah, and the, that's, there's that's a, a good the, call. That's a very good call. We, that was something from the original Zargon uh, thing that was very complicated, but doesn't need to be there. So definitely disable. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and there's a, another idea of, the, of uh, just a side, instead of as, uh, when 
well, when the model creates or yeah, ra when randomly creates a new participant or proposal, it's uh, it um, assigns uh, edges between these new nodes with all participant or or um, or proposals um, in, either, in, in either case. So I think that maybe we had a good approach that Peter already talked last week is to instead of assign all these the, all these edges to all. The, to all these nodes, we can just add a subsampling uh, method. So instead of, let's say, a uh, participant uh, getting paired with 100 proposals, it would give, be get paired with, I don't know, maybe 10. Um, but it may be like uh, proportional to, I don't know, maybe to sentiment or, I don't know, but maybe we need to analyze this a bit yeah, to see how we can subsample this edge uh, creation. Yeah. Uh, j j just one, one point on that. Uh, there is mm -hmm. another good way too that, that I was thinking that like we randomly assign uh, affinity, that is this this relation, and yeah. basically we have like we have cutoffs already. Like for staking, we have a cutoff, and like we could only like keep generating for everyone, but just only creating if the affinity is higher than a cutoff. Now, if the affinity is really really low, you still have affinity, but if you you could say like. The affinity, if it's like smaller than 0 0.3, we can just ignore it. So there are many, many ways to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, these, these are great optimization uh, guys. Uh, it will ver very much improve the experience if we can cut down the, cut down the simulation time. Uh, so those are very exciting. Are there GitHub issues for some of these things that we want to track? Or um, I wasn't making them. I already regret it. Uh, so <laughs> um, I don't know if some of these important things, uh, they, they sound like good issues to track and prioritize. There's, a, a, there's an issue that actually it's, uh, the gener it's in, yeah, it was defined as in general to help to optimize the, the simulations. I don't know what's, but yeah, it, it's an issue related to that. Yeah, yeah we really need to like add like nice more the strategies that we will be taking. Okay. Yeah. I think no, it's no, in it's the cool. public release. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we'll, we'll get there. Um, well, uh, if you guys don't mind, I, I only have like a few minutes left, and so uh, I just want to jump to the board and just say, <laughs> hell yes. Uh, great work on the community release uh, I'm in the public. I want to scream louder, but I, <laughs> that's probably not. It's kind of a nicer restaurant that I'm at. Um, but either way, this is fantastic. Uh, I see. I do see that we have one issue left in the in the community release. Um, this Google Pay issue that Lauren has. Um, was there a blocker on this? Uh, no, I, I think there think was. So. Merlin was a, yeah. supposed to be fixing that, and since he's not on the call, we just uh, might want to delegate that to someone else. Like, I don't know, like Fabio is smiling at me right now. So. <laughs> no, but uh, we tried to fix that issue, but since the issue related to like Android version and the, and the smartphone that Lauren has, so I tested on other version and an, another smartphone and the, the issue doesn't exist. Like Peter mm. has a, an Android and he tested and everything is okay. So I really don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I, I suggest let's keep, the, let's keep the issue open or move it to the public release because uh, I mean, I'm having the same issue as well with my Android. I have the latest version. I'm running uh, OnePlus 6 uh, and latest Oxygen and something like that. And we might find a way to troubleshoot this. So Griff, let's just put it in a public release. Okay, there are all these. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I think that sounds like a, a plan. I don't think it's like, it's obviously not a blocker. We're here, it's happening. Yeah. So uh, great work guys. And yeah, it seems like if it's only on certain versions, it's not the end of the world, right? Okay, cool. Well, mm -hmm. let's just see if there's any, um, issues that we want to prioritize. It looks like everything is actually labeled for public release. Mm -hmm. Oh, except for this one. Too many hatchers shown in slider. Um, so I'll just throw that in public release. 
It's a pretty small one. And uh, oops. sorry, I'm having trouble moving the windows. Like, there it is. Max spending content needs to be revised. Oh yeah, uh, this would be really nice. This, uh, I, I kind of want to go through and do some more content updates just to be, I think they're all pretty, they're pretty good. Uh, it's just like, there's just like, I get these little hints of like, oh, that might push, that's not exactly perfect, you know? Yeah, Danny. Yeah, I feel the same way. Um, I just started a couple issues last night um, that I want to change some words. There's a few places where because the text before it or after it isn't there, it just doesn't quite make sense anymore. Um, it's good, but it can be better. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and there's no, there's nothing that's like, oh, this is a flat out lie or something. But it's like, uh, I think it has opportunities for improving. Cool. I'm glad I'm not alone on that. Um, so, Brief. Um, yeah. When, uh, could you transfer transfer this issue to the other repo? Because it's about the front end, but uh, it's the one that is on back end repo. So there isn't a great way to transfer issues between Let repos that here. I know of. And, and the way this happened was I didn't realize what repo I was in uh, and I was just making it in Zen Hub. And, I needed to, I will do a better job at going to the top of the repo and like and confirming the repo before I make the issue when I'm using Zen Hub. Uh, oh, but don't worry. Uh, I, I, found, had, I found a button that maybe will transfer the issue. I will try. Okay. Uh, and do you mind if I, 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 I really would like to change this one uh, pretty quickly. Uh, if that's possible. So maybe I can just assign you and this can be like a, a higher priority. Yeah, actually, uh, I've already done this one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Well done. <laughs> uh, well, if this is already done, I guess, uh, does it go to review or where should I put it? Should I close it? I can just merge because it's a very small change, just the text. It will not break the, the app. Okay, well, I'll trust you to merge it and I'll just close this issue now because it always yeah. feels good to hit okay. that close button. Uh, okay, cool. Then, um, well, those are, those are the two ish. That's the main issue that I wanted to make sure got adjusted because it's uh, an easy fix. And maybe I, I kind of have to run. I don't, Marco, could you take over? Yeah, no worries. Oh, uh, just a quick question before you leave. Uh, you're in the common simulator uh, repo. Shouldn't we be in the C sim front end repo? So, uh, oh, you yeah. have three repos there. Yeah, so I, I have it showing all three repos so that all the issues are here and we can prioritize as, as needed. Okay, and also the, the co, co could cab. Yeah, that's the old, uh, I don't think there's a whole lot going on in that repo, right, right, Vitor? Uh, that repo is basically not being used anymore. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's not being used. <clears throat> yeah, no worries. Uh, yeah, you can go, uh, Griff, have a great time. Uh, I'm going to share my slide. Oh, no, hold on a second. Uh, you can't go or will it then? Yeah, I believe you can share screen. Or... And let me stop mine. And I'll make you full on host and you should have all the powers. All right. Okay. Bye guys.